What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power we'll Play with CJ Tony Ferguson on Jack Johnson getting swindled out of millions of dollars again. Uh, this time with former NFL defensive back Will Allen, who played actually was in camp for the Pats one year. He played a lot of his career at Miami. That's either hand or there. He's a scumbag running a Ponzi scheme. You know, the thing. I was a Jack Johnson guy in Michigan. And, you know, I really thought he was going to be the next big thing when he broke through with the Kings. And they did a photo shoot <coughs> in 2007 for ESPN Next. It was Johnson, Mike Camilleri, and Anze Kopitar in, like, some warehouse in L.A. And it was, you know, Camilleri's a sniper. Uh, Anze Kopitar's a setup man, defensive forward that, that, you know, puts Camilleri in a position to do all those things. And Jack Johnson makes the, those goals stand up. was, like, the bottom line of the, the piece. Obviously... <clears throat> the Kings would become one of the better teams in the NHL a few years later, and Camilleri was long gone, and Jack Johnson was gone by the time he won the Stanley Cup. Don't know why I brought that up, but his development, I think, was a little bit mismanaged. Probably should have seen some AHL seasoning when he was 20 in his rookie year. Going right from Michigan to the show, even as the third overall pick, you know, not, not exactly the most ideal set of circumstances. Uh, struggled a little bit, but, uh, you know, that's that's not that's tip of the iceberg. The fact he made such bad financial decisions, you know, did he take a business class in Michigan because uh, he got swindled first by his parents? You know, as much as I want to give him a mulligan on that, you got to be smarter than to just sign everything over to your parents. I mean, think it out one time, uh, and then you know, going a step further, the Will Allen thing. Uh, you get swim, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. I mean, that's kind of what I'm seeing here. He should have been smarter than to just throw his money in a Ponzi scheme run by an NFL defensive back. I mean, you know, I'm not exactly a financial advisor, but even I can see the writing on the wall with this shit. And, um, you know, again, it's such a sad story. I mean, he's $50,000 in assets with $10, $15 million in debt. It's too bad. You know, and he's going to be playing the rest of his career, paying off debt that he didn't accrue. And, uh, you know, I think any chance you have to watch that ESPN 30 for 30 broke, you know, it's amazing how quickly a couple million dollars can just vanish. Um, you know, after you factor in taxes, agent fees, and, you know, everything. And then it's like, oh, let me let me buy my parents a house. And, oh, let me just give my parents full control of everything. And, you know, I, I just think it's – players got to be smarter. You know, as much as Johnson's the victim here – he has he could have prevented some of this from happening, you know if he was a little bit more financial savvy, um, you know if he used a little bit of common sense and, and you know stuff like that. But again, would have uh, you know this could have been avoided, plain and simple. But I still felt bad for him. It's definitely unfortunate. You know you work your whole life to be able to to make this kind of money, and then it's like, oh yeah, now it's all gone because you know some bad people took advantage of me. So. You know, the bottom line is, you, you look at these Ponzi schemers, you know, whether it's a, an Allen or a, a Bernie Madoff going, you know, real scumbag. Uh, you know, it's definitely, you got to exercise caution financially. You know, you, you can't be making these shitty investments, whether you're making, you know, $5 million a year or, you know, 50 grand a year. you got to exercise, you know, the, the um, you know, caution. Is what it is. Anyway, that's all. Sort of the power of play with CJ on the uh, latest Jack Johnson financial snafu. Stay tuned for episodes of the season and beyond. Later, guys.